Uh, let me let me just start off by saying it sure is nice to get the season going. Uh, we really needed a game against somebody other than ourselves. Um, I thought tonight's game was a good test for us. Lewis and Clark has nothing to be ashamed of. I'm glad they were able to come down and provide us some uh, somebody different to play. Um, and and when we schedule these games, we try and make it hard on ourselves. Uh, we thought that having a team that had a lot of guards would would test our man-to-man -man defense out, and uh, they did a terrific job trying to drive to the basket and get around our bigger guys, so that was good. Uh, a lot of stuff to be happy about. The th stuff I'm a little disappointed with were obviously the rebounding. I thought we let them get too many of the long offensive rebounds uh, early in the game, but I thought after halftime and we made the adjustment, I thought we did a, a, a better job at, uh, of, of taking care of that. Um, that's one of our points of emphasis this season is is uh, the other team's offensive rebounding. So, you know, we don't get a passing grade on that. But the other points of emphasis we do. Uh, turnovers was a, is a point of emphasis this this season. We we had four in the first half, four in the second, and we didn't. We only had one player with more than one. So that was really good to see. The other point of emphasis. Um, our foul shots and to shoot 17 for 21 that's a good start um, we just have to keep that up when the games when the games count so uh, all in all when you get out of a game like this with nobody getting injured everybody gets to play we got to play our freshmen a lot um, I probably played them a little bit more in the first half than I've done in the past but that's because I have confidence with this team so it was nice to put them in the fire a little bit and not just have them in at the end of the game when the game's already settled. So with that, I'll open it up for questions. What was your impression of the freshmen tonight? And is this kind of an indication that you might go with them quite a bit this year? Well, you know, here's how, how it works with the freshmen on this team. You know, they're earning our trust. And uh, when, when I first put them in, they didn't, they weren't very trustworthy. But I think that's just nerves. And then after they settled down, they were just fine. And you have to remember, it, when we get into the meat of the season, I doubt if there'll be more than one or two of them in together. And I threw them all in there. A couple of times I had three and four in at the same time. Uh, certainly, if they defend like they did today, they'll be able to get in games. See, we don't need our freshmen to help us a lot on offense. We just need them to be able to give our guys a blow and be able to, to, to not give up a lot of points. And this wouldn't be a good game to, to, to be an indicator of that. But I've seen them work in practice, and I'm pretty – I'm starting to get a good feel about them defensively. And once I, I get a good feel about them defensively, then I, then I can put them in the games. Uh, after starting almost every game last season, you brought Devon Collier off the bench today. Why don't you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, well, we, 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 the, the idea behind that is that a lot of people don't realize that the, your sixth man actually takes more shots than anybody else on the team. And that's, if it doesn't happen for, other teams, it happens for my teams. I, I've noticed that in the past, uh, which is why last year we liked having Roberto being the guy who was the sixth man. And now that Roberto's in the starting lineup, we, we were trying to figure out who could be a good sort of instant offense guy coming in off the bench and playing starters minutes, but just not coming out at the beginning of the game. And Devon was, was playing that role in practice, and we'll see how it goes in the first couple of games. If we can if we can if we can win that way, that sure is a nice weapon to have coming off the bench. What's the number one thing that you're going to work on in practice this week, especially to, uh, to work on rebounding? Yeah, well, you just got to work on it. I mean, you know, we we I I hate rebounding drills because I usually get somebody hurt doing them, but we're going to have to do some uh, just to reinforce how important it is. Now, having said that. When we look at the tape, we'll probably notice that most of the rebounds came on those long threes. I mean, that's really the guard's responsibility, um, and we have to get used to that. I mean, out of, you know, that team was a, a particularly – Lewis and Clark was a particularly small team, so they probably took more th – see, they took 24 threes. I mean, that's a lot of threes. And uh, we, I, we did such a good job on them defensively, making them miss – you can't give those second shots to them. Uh, 
so we're going to focus on those long rebounds. But I'm not going to press the panic button yet. You know, I let those guys know how important it is. They know how important it is. Um, but we'll work on that. Uh, and then we'll work on individual stuff um, that, that the teams that we're going to play Friday and Sunday uh, will work, work specifically on what they do. And then we'll keep working on, you know, we spend a lot of time on our man-to-man -man defense. You know, it's it's interesting. I thought Ahmad didn't look for his shot as much today. I thought he was actually more of a playmaker. I mean, he, he only played 20 minutes. He had four assists. He was really leading the team out there. I mean, he was calling plays. I, I called the first three plays of the game, and Ahmad took over from that point. Um, so I think what you're going to see are numbers similar to this. But over a you know thirty to thirty two minute game rather than a twenty minute game, and then uh, you're going to see him more being a playmaker or or a traditional point guard where he's setting guys up. Good. Okay. Is that it? All right, great. Well, see you Friday. Thank you. Thank you.